Shalom, everybody. Just want to talk to you a little bit about fruit, sugars, fruit juice, and you know how to incorporate these things in your life, the pros and cons of, of, of having too much sugar, too much fruit, and ways to make sure you're getting enough fruit in your life. So again, with every person, it's going to be different. And, and where there's a lot of things to consider here. But one thing is, if you love fruit, if you feel like you want to eat fruit, I really think certain fruits are really great, like apples. Apples, you know, I try to eat three apples a day. Me personally, normally that's what I eat. My first thing that I eat is three apples. And maybe I'll have it with a little almond butter sometimes. And uh, but also, yeah, blueberries, strawberries, berries, and those things are lower in the glycemic, lower in the sugar. You know, stuff to watch out for would be like grape juice, um, especially citrus juice, but you can always have lemon. Lemon is amazing. Now, I used to, when I was on a 100% raw diet, I used to eat, drink orange juice all the time, especially before I go train. And eventually I realized that it wasn't making me feel that good. So I started to study and learn more and more about, even if you're gonna have orange, I really suggest eating the whole orange because it has the fiber and it's the way it actually, you know, you don't have to run it through a machine, you don't have to process it. This is the way the creator of the universe gave it to us. So apples, same way, we don't, you know, I mean, it's not, I'm not saying don't ever have apple juice, but realize when you take apple juice, you remove the fiber and you're, and you're gonna, you're gonna ex really increase your blood sugar is gonna go way up and it could cause a, you know, a collapse. But there is detoxifying things with apple juice and there's good things in grape juice too. It's loaded with amazing phytonutrients and all these things are in the juices. But sometimes for, for people that are having sugar issues and are maybe just sitting around at the house not being too active, fruit juice is, is terrible for you. I mean, I, I, love, I love to have a little bit of wine also personally, especially on Shabbat, a little glass of wine. And, and it's got many great healing benefits. But I usually have it with a little food because this helps it especially like olives or something that helps with the healthy fats that helps slow down the the spike in the in the sugars as it reaches your body but there's so many things to consider today now i'm having papaya my wife and i have been blessed to get a few organic papayas from the natural food store she shared it with me this is one of our favorite ways to have it take a little lime and squeeze it in there it's just so incredible and i really do me personally i love to eat a lot of fruit um, but I know for some people it doesn't seem right and they have, they have issues with sugar and um, there could be a lot of reasons for this. And so it's really important that you listen to your own body and something else might be better for you to have first thing in the morning or, you know, but definitely apples, blueberries, um, strawberries and these things you can have and everything in moderation, everything in, in its right way. For you know, fruit is very detoxifying. Again, it's loaded with phytonutrients. It's very, very good food. But if you eat too much of it, anything, that's why it says all things in moderation. And they even say mod even moderation itself. So sometimes you can go all out and eat a lot of fruit. Sometimes you can eat no fruit and just eat vegetables or other things. And we're going to talk a lot about proper diet, proper eating. And ultimately, it comes down to each individual and what you want to achieve out of the day. But brothers and sisters, know that in the beginning, he gave us all the fruit bearing trees that have the seeds within them, and that he gave us the green plants, the vegetation, fruits, fresh fruits, uh, ripe fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. These are all so good for us. And if we make sure that we get a lot of this in our diet, we will be feeling really, really good. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to be 100% vegan, but it does mean that there is a benefit for every person to include lots of fresh fruits and vegetables in their diet, and everyone in their own proportion. Anyways, this is Joseph of Good News Nutrition uh, sending you all love, and I'm going to enjoy this papaya. Hopefully this video uh, helps clarify some things for you. If you have any more questions, I would love to address them uh, in future videos. Also come visit us at Good News Nutrition Facebook. All right, everybody. Shalom. Have a good day.